everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an absolutely amazing day. If you're new here, hi, my name is Liz. I do a lot of Animal Crossing content here on YouTube and I'm a variety streamer over on Twitch. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today we're going to be decorating the inside of my house. I have attempted to record this video a few times now. The first few times being um, attempts at speed building and that just didn't really work out um, because I had a really good idea of what I wanted to do. So it went a lot faster than what I um, would have expected in the video. It ended up being only like a few minutes long. So I'm re-recording this right now and I'm just going to build it or decorate it as I talk to you all. So this is this is a little bit new, this is interesting. But for this main room, I'm going to try to separate it using these partition walls um, and decorate it this way. And the reason for that is um, I absolutely hate building this main area. This is probably the bane of my existence trying to decorate this area right here, mostly because I find that it's a very awkward space. I really wish that we would have been able to either change the sides uh, or like the walls to be different sizes or at least change the where the doors are. I find like the doors are in some of the most awkward spaces that makes it really hard to decorate around the area. So that's why I personally am not a big fan of this space. I'm just placing down the furniture items that I know that I'm going to be using for this. Um, just because I have built this now, what is this, like the fifth time that I will be re-recording this? Oh, there we go. Now my camera's working. For a second there, it wasn't working. I was so confused. I was like, what did I do? Did I break it? But nope, it is all good. Hmm. Did I do this right? I think I did. Until I know otherwise. I'm just gonna... Actually, I think I needed to... There we go. My controller's being odd now. Interesting. One more up. Because I need the extra space. I think this is now now it's going to be trial and error just watch now that I'm finally recording this as I speak instead of just as a speed build it's going to take me longer than just a few minutes I just I know it I'm finally able to use these partition plants and I love them I'm also trying to make like a little bit I guess of a living room slash living space Growing up, we always had separate areas, like, for what was considered a family room versus, like, a live-in room, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> what I mean by that is we had, like, an area of the house that was specifically just for, um, when we had family or guests over, and also an area or a space that, um, that was for us to hang out in all the time, and just relax, have some fun. And with this, I'm trying to combine both of those areas. So the relaxing area, I guess, would be the couch and the more formal area. I'm not making a sitting area, but that would be this front section. It's more for show than for practical use. That's kind of what the... I guess we would call it a family room, <laughs> or at least what I grew up knowing a family room to be. It was <clears throat> to look pretty in case someone showed up one day um, unannounced that we would use for guests like that. But other than that, we wouldn't ever really use it. So it was one of those things where as a child, I remember looking at all the time thinking, ah, this couch looks comfy. And every time I would try to sneak in, to uh to sit down on it i would always get caught and that just made me want to sit on it more because it was so comfy but i was never allowed to because it was like nah that's for it that's for guests i laugh at it looking back at it now because i think that it's the funniest thing oh those are the wrong bottles there we go 
I don't know. I always thought that it's funny being able to look back at things and being, I remember that as a kid, but now I look back and I'm like, that was kind of weird. But at the same time, it is what it is and every family is different. Mine was just interesting like that. Where is, there it is, mom's candle set. That has to be one of my favorite items. I love the candle set. Oh. Also, trying to find all the items, it's like I know exactly what I want and where to place it, but I can't quite find it. Blowing my mind. Alrighty. So, as you can see, I'm kind of having like the seating area, the study area, and then I hate calling it a family room because I don't even think it's a family room. It's just like that part for show. Let me know down in the comments, did you ever have one of those rooms where it was like just for show and you never really used it? Because I most definitely did. It just, it made me want to use it more. I think in the future, if I ever have like my own house and I have a spare area where I have the opportunity to make something like that, I don't think I will. I think I'll just have it as like an extra hangout space. What direction is that photo frame? Oh. <sighs> Building this and decorating, especially the photo frames, makes me wish that um, we had the ability to turn things at 45 degrees, because I think that would be amazing if we were able to do that. Okay, now I need a chair. Where are my chairs at? Uh, no, I'm going to use this chair. I know it looks odd because of how big it is, but I kind of, I kind of like it. I don't know why. And then for trees. Now I'm just kind of filling in um, little nooks and crannies here and there, trying to make it look pretty and feel kind of full, I guess. Um, and the way I typically do that is with this little different trees and whatnot. Um, that could just be something that carried over from sims because i love decorating and building things in the sims and i would always decorate open spaces with trees and plants and just household clutter so that kind of carried over to a lot of my animal crossing builds speaking of the sims is sims something that you all would want to see on my channel because i've been thinking of doing some other cozy games other just um Animal Crossing, and Sims was one of them that I was thinking of doing. Um, not sure if it would be like a Let's Play or just some speed builds, but I have been considering that. Let me know down in the comments what you think, if that's something that you would want to see. Okay, that one goes on the other wall. I wanted to put um, like a TV right where the window was. So then I had to remove it and find this little custom design, which I think is actually really cute. I'm a big fan of it. And use that instead as windows. And even that, I'm not sure if I like the look of that with the rest of the house. So I might try to make or find a different window eventually. There we go. So this is the main room that we have built. Little living room, family room area, little TV, and a little bit of like a study nest area. Um, I think I'm just gonna call this uh, like a live-in space. This is a space for everyone to do their thing and hang out. I'm not really sure what to call it, but I'm just gonna go with that. And now we're going to run over into the next room and we're also going to build a little bit of a kitchen here. This was another thing that I wanted to make a speed build out of and then realize that I just don't have the ability to do it fast enough. <laughs> um, if that makes sense. It's just, or not fast enough. It went too fast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It went by too fast, and then it just kind of all got ruined. Do I want to leave that there? You know what? I'm going to leave the window there. I don't remember if I actually want to leave the window there, but I'm going to leave the window there for now. I love using these pillars and these counters. Some of my absolute favorite items. 
you can just make so many cool different spaces for it. For this build, I'm trying to kind of sectioning off the dining room and the kitchen area using these countertops and the pillars. Um, and then on top, I find that it looks kind of odd if I just leave it like this. So one of my personal favorite things to do is to add these hanging shelves in. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. I just find that when I add the hanging shelves with the little, um, countertop, it looks so pretty and gorgeous and I just, I love it. In love with it. Alrighty. Now for the actual kitchen part, which... Is always a favorite. Always gotta love that. Where are my appliances? There are my appliances. Where's my fridge? There it is. Why do they keep the fridge so far away from everything else? I don't know. So for this, like with my other build, I'm kind of going for like a little bit of um a darker color theme. So I'm sticking with the dark browns, the deep reds, things like that. I just, I really like how all of those look and how they turn out. I think that they are gorgeous and it's something very different than what I normally build and um, play with. So typically most of my previous builds have been things like elegant core and very fancy and bright designs. And so for this island, I am going for more of a witchcraft, um, celestial witchcraft theme on the outside. And then for the interior, it's just turned into a little bit more of a cozy feeling or cozy vibe, I guess, is the best way to describe it. I don't know if I have necessarily a theme for the interior of the house the way I have the exterior. It's just something that I've been playing around with, trying to figure out what works versus what doesn't work, and then just kind of seeing like what I enjoy creating or adding on to, to these spaces, if that makes sense. <laughs> because the shapes of these rooms I find can be quite difficult, especially now that I've had the chance to play around with different sizes with Happy Home Paradise. Not being able to do that in my own house just makes me kind of sad. Awesome. So now with the coffee beans, I love having coffee beans to help decorate. I think that it is absolutely amazing. I'm going to put a kettle on the oven. Is the oven not facing the right way? My oven isn't facing the right way. Oh my goodness. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> That's better. Now everything's facing the right way. My goodness. I'm just having some small brain moments, you know? Just not all there today. My brain is distracted. I'm gonna add some clutter to the kitchen because I love having clutter. Oh, although, again, I keep referencing back to the Sims. I do miss having um, the ability to not have things lock onto the grid. So being able to move them around, I kind of miss having that as an option. I'm trying to add like a little bit of a record player in each of the rooms so I can later on add music to them um, as I go and continue the builds later on. Actually, I'm going to move this around. Now, see, now I'm changing my mind again. <laughs> I always do this. I'm like, yes, this looks good. And then I go, no, nah, I want to use this instead. I love that little bag there. It's so cute. I love it. Amazing. Alrighty, what else do I have? Ah, uh, yes. Turkey day items. For the dinner table. And then I was thinking, I wonder if it'll fit. I was considering whether or not I want to use a turkey day rug. And unfortunately not. That is much too big. Darn. I was really hoping that that would work well. But unfortunately not. Alrighty, now for the back wall. Where is it? The garland. Yes. I absolutely love this item. I wish I could use it all the time. I think that it is so cute. Alrighty, there we go. 
And here I have the kitchen as well. It is all done. We have a little bit of decor and clutter all over the place. It is amazing. I would have much rather put like a little sandwich on the table, but I haven't started farming yet on my island. So unfortunately I don't have vegetables available to start cooking, but this is the kitchen area. I think it's absolutely adorable and I am in love with it. That being said, this is the end of the video as both builds are now done. I hope you all had as much fun watching it as I did building it. <laughs> this has been so odd, like recording this and building at the same time, but it's also interesting. Let me know if you prefer this style of video compared to the speed builds I've done previously, because I'm so super interested to see if you all would prefer this style over the previous. But with that being said, this does wrap up today's video. I hope you all have an amazing day and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye!